name is Samantha Dowling, and I'm going to be talking with you about Thomas Jefferson's legacy. Thomas Jefferson was born on April 13, 1743, at Shadwell, Virginia. He was born to a successful planter and wealthy slave-owning family. Before Jefferson would become known as one of America's founding fathers, Jefferson would begin building the Monticello at the age of 26 years old. Three years later, he would marry Martha Wales Skelton and have six children, but only two of those children survived to adulthood. Jefferson's real legacy began when he was asked to draft the Declaration of Independence while he was a member of the Continental Congress. He also authored the Statute of Virginia for Religious Freedom and founded the University of Virginia. These were the three accomplishments that Jefferson took the most pride in and wanted to remain his legacy. He took so much pride in these accomplishments that he even had them listed in the epitaph on his gravestone. However, Jefferson is remembered for much more, both good and bad. Thomas Jefferson was America's third president and during his presidency, his achievements included the Louisiana Purchase, which added over half of America's territory to its original colonies. And then he also supported the Lewis and Clark Expedition, which explored that purchase. Jefferson also maintained a stance against slavery, feeling it was an abominable crime he continued to own over 607 slaves during his entire lifetime. Jefferson also had a relationship with one of his slaves, Miss Sally Hemings, and he is believed to have fathered six children with her. However, Thomas Jefferson died on July 4, 1826, the 50th anniversary of the adoption of the Declaration of Independence, and he was 83 years old. He died only hours before his long, lifelong correspondent and fellow founding father, who was John Adams, also the second president of, of America. Then after his death, his slave Sally Hemings was finally allowed to leave Monticello after getting permission from Thomas Jefferson's daughter. Um, despite this, Jefferson had freed Sally's children in 1822 and then early on in 1826. And then today's information on Thomas Jefferson was provided to you by Thomas Jefferson, a brief biography, Thomas Jefferson and slavery, Thomas Jefferson and Sally Hemings, a brief account, and then Thomas Jefferson at a glance. These are all articles that were found at www.monticello.org. Thank you and have a great evening.